product reviews all day here, folks, and we have a gravity knife here. A very cheap, inexpensive, fairly fair to middling quality gravity knife. Um, I purchased this on Amazon.com. I don't think Amazon's supposed to be selling items like this, but occasionally you'll see things like this and OTFs and uh, switchblades and stuff pop up on Amazon. Sometimes the Chinese manufacturers, they uh, end up sneaking little products in there and people snap them up when they sneak them in and I'm one of those people who snapped this baby up. So this is a gravity knife. Um, for those of you that don't know, and it's a very cheap one too. This is $16.98. Um, sometimes I've seen it on Amazon for $23.86 or $17.98. You know, the, anyone who shops on Amazon regularly knows that the prices change a lot. They fluctuate a lot. There's always a lightning deal or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But so I happen to get this for $16.98. Um, you can see that it's plates. You can see that it is steel plates that are, I don't know, stamped together. I guess I don't know exactly how that, what that process is called. But it's actually not bad. Um, you know, the machining's pretty decent, or like the, the you know, when everything lines up, it's very little machining on this, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but everything lines up pretty nice, actually. Um, you know, on the end there, the curve around, and here on the jimping, everything lines up pretty nice. Um, so, you know, even though it's stacked plates, I, I, don't, I don't have any issue with it. Um, you know, it's really solid, it's heavy. The, the steel feels of decent quality. Did a pretty good job machining. I mean, some of the spots, honestly, you can't even really see the stacks. You know, they did a nice job of machining it down, so it so it looks like one cohesive unit, even though it's it's not. It is stacked plates, but you know, if you look at that profile there, you can barely tell that that's stacked plates. But once you get a little closer, then you can see it. Um, but for sixteen dollars and ninety eight cents, I'm not going to complain. Um, way a gravity knife works is this slides over. You just tip it back, the blade goes in, slide it over, close it, your blade comes out. Um, I, it's, to me, they're kind of gimmicky, but they're they're cool for fidgeting. You know, you can you can slide them open, you can slide them open and close, um, or you can do the old go like this and whip it out trick and then close it over, or you know, you drop it in, flip it. Let it come down, close it up, you know. Um, everybody's, you know, anybody who's a knife enthusiast knows the way the gravity knife works. Um, but for a made-in-China, kind of a pretty junky made-in-China knife that's made with stamped plates stacked together, you know, it's fun. It's fun for $16.98. Um, the blade, the machining on the blade is pretty subpar, uh, you know. It's can see the grinding on there is just not even at all. It came decently sharp. Um, it says SKD11 on there, whatever that means. Um, belt clip's decent. It's pretty wide, and it actually slips in your pocket pretty good because it has a nice opening there. Um, it's pretty tight, you know, but not too tight. So I'd say the pocket clip's actually a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah. The, the D, once again, the steel is claimed to be D2. Is that accurate or not? You know, I have no way of knowing if that's accurate or not. Um, but you can hear the way this thing clings and clangs. You can hear the hollow sound when you drop it and the, hollow, and the way it bounces off on the bottom. It's a cheap $17 knife. But for a fidget factor, um, you know, it's actually not bad. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't regret buying it. Do I recommend it? Eh, I don't know if I could even go so far as saying I recommend it. Is it cool? Is it kind of fun when you're sitting downstairs on the couch watching a movie, messing around with your knife? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go on Amazon, pick this baby up. Just type in Gravity Knife on the search. I think it's the brand is like MMO Poons or something. You know, I don't know. Some made-up Chinese name. There's a, so many of those generic Chinese brands for knives, watches, you name it, it doesn't matter. They just pump so much stuff out of that country, it's not even funny. Product reviews all day, like, subscribe, ring the bell, peace.